Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft store error that is try again later something happened on our end. So if you are receiving this error message while installing or downloading any application or games from Microsoft store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft store. So open store on your computer. And then on the top right, you will see your profile icon over here. So click on it, then click on your account, then click on sign out. And then again, click on the profile icon to sign in, click on sign in, select your account, click on continue, and then enter the pin or password, whatever it is asking. And then after you uh, logged in, you go ahead and use store. If that does not resolve the problem, then run Windows Store Troubleshooter. To run the troubleshooter, go to the start menu click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on troubleshoot over here and then over here you can see additional troubleshooter click on it scroll down and here you can see windows store apps click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot, uh, troubleshoot is complete you can go ahead and use store but still you are facing the problem then you have to clear store cache using ws reset command so just type in w s reset in windows search box and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes to allow if you see the prompt now here you can see the black screen now we have to wait for this black screen to go away it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute so once the black screen is gone it will open microsoft store do not close this black screen till Microsoft Store opens up. So it may take few seconds or maybe a minute. And after that you will see the store will open up on the screen. So here you can see the black screen uh, is gone now and here you can see the store up and running and then you can use store now still you are facing the problem then you have to update windows 10 to update windows 10 go to the start menu click on settings and then go to update and security and then click on check for update over here so once you click on check for update if there is any pending update download and install it and after that restart your computer and then use store the next step is to update apps to update apps open microsoft store on the top right you will see the three dots over here then click on download and updates and after that click on update all you will see this option get updates so click on get updates and after that you can use store if that does not resolve the problem then you have to reset store app to reset store go to the start menu click on settings and then click on apps over here and then find microsoft office in the list over here so scroll down and find microsoft store not office store so here you can see microsoft store click on it then click on advanced options scroll down and here you can see the reset option click on reset and then here you can see this will permanently delete the apps data on this device including your preferences and sign in details so you might have to log in once again then click on reset and once the reset is done close this window and then just type in store in windows search and then open microsoft store and then you can start using microsoft store if that does not resolve the problem then you have to go ahead and run this powershell command the commands are provided in the video description so just go ahead and type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow Copy this command. The commands are provided in the video description. Copy this and then paste it on the PowerShell window. Hit the enter key on the keyboard. And go, uh, once this is done, you can go ahead and use store. If that does not resolve the problem, then run the second command and then paste it over here and then hit the enter key on the keyboard. Once this is done, you go ahead and use store. If that does not resolve the problem, then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall store. So to uninstall store copy this command again you have to open the powershell so just type in powershell in windows search make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator and then click on yes to allow and then paste the command the command is provided in the video description and here you can see right now the store is open right now 
and once I hit the enter key the store will be gone it will be uninstalled so hit the enter key and here you can see this store is gone store was on the background it's gone now so even if I try to open store right now you can see Microsoft even if I'm clicking over here it's not opening right now it's gone now you have to go ahead and restart your computer once you uninstall Microsoft Store restart your computer and use the second command to reinstall store so again after you restart your computer again you have to open PowerShell just type in PowerShell make a right click and then click on run as administrator let me close this click on run as administrator then click on yes then paste the second command hit the enter key and once this is done you can go ahead and type in store in windows search and then open microsoft store it will open up and after that you can go ahead and use store if that does not resolve you can go ahead and run this dism command so open powershell once again copy the command and paste it over here and then hit the enter key and once the scan is done you can go ahead and restart your computer and then you can go ahead and use store so the scan will start and once the scan is 100% then go ahead and restart your computer and then you can try to use store if that does not resolve the problem then you can go ahead and run this command that is inetcpl.cpl so just type in run in windows search over here and then you open the run box type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on ok go to the advanced tab over here and scroll down and here you can see tls 1.2 so you have to tick use tls 1.2 so make sure that this one is checked so if this is unchecked go ahead and check it use tls 1.2 then click on apply ok and then you can go ahead and use store if nothing works then you can go ahead and update windows 10 using media creation tool so this will certainly you know fix the problem if nothing works so in that uh, to run media creation tool just type in media creation tool in google search just type in media creation tool in google search and then go to the microsoft website and here you can see download tool now option click on this download tool now it will go ahead and download the exe file you have to run this exe file and once you run microsoft uh, media creation tool will open up on the screen and then you will see the screen which says agree to the terms so here you will see license term for microsoft click on accept once you click on accept you will see the screen which says upgrade this pc now by default this will be checked so make sure that upgrade this PC now it checked and then click on next and then before installation it will give you an option which says keep personal files and app so by default this will be checked that means you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure that this one is checked and then click on next and once the windows 10 you know update is done it will go ahead and download the complete windows 10 file along with the latest update this process will take time because it downloads the complete Windows 10 along with the latest update. So after that, it will go ahead and install it. Your computer will restart in between. Do not worry about that. Once that is done, you can use store. So one of the steps should definitely help you to this fix this error that we say is try again later or something happened on our end. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.